is my loves. I am Matula from Matula Botanica and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quinoa gel off. My style. It's my simple method and I hope you enjoy the recipe. First we start off by cleansing the bell peppers thoroughly. So we wash it off with warm water, preferably warm to hot and then we clean it off again by rubbing a lime rind all over the bell peppers. If you don't have the lime rind, key lime rind that is, you can just use the warm water. And now we're breaking it apart, de-seeding, and we're gonna add the bell peppers to the blender. We're gonna add some habanero, so roughly about a quarter of an habanero with some of the seeds like we need to add a bit of spice you know it brings out the flavor we're also going to add two red onions once the red peppers have been blended into a paste we will pour that into the pot and then we'll add the red onions to the blender blend that into a paste and then add that to the pot again. Now we're going to add about say eight stalks of thyme. Now the best way to do this is to peel the leaf off the stalk from the thyme and then add that to the blender. Please do wash your thyme thoroughly when you purchase it because there could be some form of insects and all kinds of debris on the thyme. So make sure you wash it thoroughly. Now here we're going to add a small piece of African ginger. Now this is going to bring out the flavours even more. Within our gel off we're going to have sweet flavours, a bit of spice, a bit of savoury. It's going to all come together very, very well. Now as you can see I have a teaspoon and I'm using a teaspoon to scrape the skin off the ginger. It's the best way to do it. See? It comes off pretty well without taking off too much of the ginger flesh. And now we're gonna blend all of this together. I'm currently adding two cups of purified water from the Berkey tank. At this stage, we're adding the purified vegetables to the same pot as the bell peppers. And I would suggest that you add at least four tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Here we have seven bay leaves, a tablespoon of allspice, uh, a tablespoon of mixed herbs, which I'll listen, list in the description box, and a tablespoon of sea salt. Now, this is the quinoa. So here I'm adding four cups of quinoa, and I'm gonna wash it three times. This is important. Now my loves, I advise that you wash your grain thoroughly. Like I said, I'm gonna wash it three times and each time I will use the hand rubbing method. This hair helps to lift any debris. And as you can see, the water is quite murky, but as you continue to wash, you may wanna wash a fourth time. It's best to do so until the water is clear. Now, you can wash your grain with tap water, just do not cook with it. Now you can see a frozen cube of coconut milk. Now this helps to bring out the flavor of the stew. Now the stew, it takes roughly about half an hour on a low to medium heat for it to cook thoroughly. And then you add your pre-washed quinoa grain. I allow the quinoa to cook in the stew for roughly about 35 minutes on a low heat. 
Now we're going to add two tablespoons, two healthy tablespoons of coconut oil. This helps to bring out the flavor. I'm going to mix it around thoroughly. By this time, the heat is, has been turned off. You must never cook with coconut oil. Once you feel that your grain is soft enough or near enough, I suggest you taste it. Here, the grain is cooked quite well. And that is your quinoa jalof. I hope you enjoy. Love. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Matulu Botanica, and do not forget to hit the notification button for all things traditional medicine, botanical beverages, and alkaline recipes.